Whether you're building a new darkroom or upgrading your old one, you may decide that you need a water panel. So let me show you how I made mine. Welcome to The Naked Photographer, where I'll be exposing myself. No, 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 I won't. Mm -hmm. That sounded better in my head. So I've gotten a few emails and some people have asked on some of the Facebook photo groups uh, what I've done to make my water panel. So I just wanted to briefly go over all the components and where I got them and uh, what everything does here for you. So if you're going to make your own, you can go out there and find the best pieces for it. So let me show you what I've got. Essentially, what I decided to, to make was a Delta One Model 800 water panel. Now, they are selling those for over $900. Uh, straight from Delta One. If you go through B&H, it's still over $800 for one of these things. And quite frankly, I didn't want to spend that much. So I did a lot of research to see what it is that they were actually using to make that. So let me start with um, piece by piece. The first thing that uh, the water goes into is a check valve. Now check valve is basically just a valve you can turn off and on. In this case, it's with a screw, uh, but it uh, prevents water from going backwards into the water line. You don't necessarily need that, but I did decide, you know, go ahead just for safety purposes, have that. But I do want a valve. This is on my hot water and I've got one over here on my cold water. And it allows me to turn the water off from the incoming line so that I can then disconnect the filters and everything else if I need to change the filter. So whether you use a check valve or just a, a regular valve, um, this is what I have. Now, they sell their valves, I think, for $33 to $34 a piece. I bought mine on eBay through an actual plumbing supply house that just sells stuff on there. And I want to say I think I paid $8 for the pair. They are bronze uh, rather than chrome plated. I'm not really concerned about the chrome plating. And then you have to decide your incoming line. So it's a half inch line coming in. It's threaded. Um, and then I had a half inch thread going out. <clears throat> so make sure that you get the correct size for your line. Now, all these hoses, um, all these little connectors, even this valve up here that's my off and on, these are all from Lowe's. I just went to Lowe's and I bought it. I probably could have saved money and got them from a plumbing supply house, but I just went to Lowe's because it was convenient to me. Uh, but after the valve, I then have a hose going to the water filters themselves. So you can buy filters like at Lowe's and Home Depot, uh, but they tend to be these, the cold water lines only. I wanted a hot water filter uh, and hot water filter housing. I have seen those things go on um, from a photo place like B&H for like $200 a piece, which is ridiculous. Uh, and I want to say the one from Delta is about the same and I was not going to pay that. So I found uh, this one from a place called H2O Distributors. Um, I'll put the website link in the, uh, the description of the video. And I bought that for $60. Now the bracket that it goes up by is separate but it's only like six bucks or so you could probably make your own bracket they just go in with a bolt on the top um, and it just allows it to go on the wall but it has a three quarter inch pipe inlet so you just have to get the correct adapters to uh to get your water line in and out um, this one was a lot less than 60 because cold water is always a lot less so i want to say this was probably only uh, 15 or 20 dollars that one was 60 and that already saved a lot of money then I have them going into this valve. Now, I looked this valve up. It's the one that Delta sells. The B&H sells it for $320 or so, um, at least over $300. Um, and Delta sells for just a little bit more just for the valve itself. Now, this is a thermostatic mixing valve. And what that means is if I set the temperature with this dial, you just turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, then it will keep the outgoing temperature stable. 
So if I'm doing color negative film and I set it for 100 degrees Fahrenheit, then whether it's the summer and my incoming cold water is 70, 72 degrees Fahrenheit or the winter like now and it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit, this valve will mix the cold and hot appropriately so it's always 100 coming out of, out of the line. So it's a little bit different than like a regular shower valve or something like that. But I was not going to pay $300 for that on its own. So I looked up to see what valve they're using and it is a Leonard model 270. Um, the 270 means it's a half inch line coming in. Um, I want to say the 170 is a 3 8 inch, 470 is a 3 quarters inch and so on. So I got the model 270 and I bought it brand new in the box from a plumbing supply house selling it on eBay for $45. And right now this is January of 2019. Um, there are at least two plumbing supply places selling them on eBay for about 50 bucks a pop. Uh, some go a little bit more. Now brand new, if you were to try to buy them from say Amazon or so, they're probably well over $100 a piece, but that's still a lot less than 300. So um, I did have to put these right angle connectors. You don't necessarily have to. My line could have just gone straight in, um, but my line's going vertical. So I got some extra connectors here to do that. Then we've got the um, water uh, flow valve or flow meter. This tells me how fast water is flowing through everything in gallons per minute. You can get it in metric, it's liters per minute. This is not necessary if you're building a water panel, but I like it because I can control specifically the flow to my print and film washers. Basically, as the water flows upward through it, this little metal float goes up and down and tells you how much is coming through. This particular one uh, reads all the way down to 0.2 gallons. You can get uh, very low flows uh, or very high. It depends on, on what volume you expect to use. I got this from McMaster Car. Um, again, I'll put the website link in the description. And I didn't pay very much for it. I don't know what their prices are now, uh, but I'll link to it. I'll post it in the video. Uh, and then I have a thermometer. So behind this is a, um, a 90 degree right angle um, so that the water goes, goes up and then forward. And from there, I have a T connection. So it goes forward more, but it also comes out to the side. So from the T, I have this thermometer and you can get thermometers that uh, screw into a pipe. So this was one that screws into a half inch pipe. Again, I looked to see what thermometer they were using because thermometers have ranges all over the place. And I wanted one that deals with the basic temperatures of photography. So that's going to be around 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit um, and 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 Celsius. So I needed something in that range in order to, uh, to control my processes. So I just did some more digging on what Delta uses and they use, I believe this is MCC power process controls. Um, I'll, I'll look up the brand a little closer when I'm done filming, but this is their model two. And I found it again on eBay, brand new in the box. Uh, but I'll see if I can find one to link to on McMaster or Granger or something like that for you. And it was not that expensive. Um, nowhere near what they were asking. Uh, sometimes you can find these being sold by Kodak, um, some new old stock out there. So if you can find that, that would also give you um, the proper temperature range. So then from there, I just went outward to a valve. This is just a valve from Lowe's and then it goes to my pipe. That's what I put together. Um, I will link everything I can uh, in the description so that if you are trying to build your own, you can find exactly what I'm using and hopefully get the best price. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll just keep making more videos for you.